Scottish vlogger na Grant kasi ginagamit daw ng mga Pilipino ang Starbucks na opisina? Culture shock lang ba siya or feeling main character? Look at all these guys with the laptops just sitting and using it as their personal office. Just, just sit in your house? Just sit in your condo? Just sit in your hotel room and do your work? Hindi naman kasi lahat ng estudyante o hindi naman lahat ng tao dito sa Pilipinas or sa Baguio ay may magandang workplace or study place. I was a big cure. I was thinking about getting a matcha frappuccino, but a big cure. People come and just use it as their personal office. Naiintindihan ko kung saan nanggagaling si Scottish vlogger. Kasi if you go to other countries, particularly sa Europe, yung cafe dyan, minsan talaga hindi naman sila naglalaptop. I don't understand this whole concept. Why do you need to be sitting in somebody's coffee shop? Digital nomad. Digital gonad. Yo, what's up? This is Real Talk Darbs. I'm a issue analyzer in the Philippines wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about some recent viral social issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas. And today, we're gonna be talking about another vital topic about this Scottish vlogger na nag online patungkol sa paggamit sa mga coffee shop as personal office. Tama nga bang gawing personal office ang coffee shops? Bakit nga ba naging issue ang ganitong klaseng work culture? At kung ikaw ang nasa posisyon ng vlogger, anong mararamdaman mo kung wala ka nang magamit na space to sit down and enjoy your coffee? And of course, what are the things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Let's get out! First, let me give you a brief context. Dale Phillips is a Scottish former poker player, and he is currently a YouTube travel vlogger, known for his travel vlogs and previous success in online poker tournaments. As of recording this video, he has 2.8 million subscribers in YouTube and 6.4 million followers in Facebook. Maliban dyan, he used to work for IT Software Task bago naging isang professional poker player. Sa ngayon, Dale has visited more than 50 countries around the world. Kabilang na doon ang Pilipinas. At sinishare niya ang mga travel experiences niya sa kanyang YouTube channel. Pero sa kanyang one-minute vlog sa TikTok, na ngayon ay one week ng viral, ikanainis ito ang napakadaming customer ng coffee shop na ito sa Baguio na nagmistula na daw opisina. Look at all these guys with the laptops just sit and use it as a personal office. Dahil sa kanyang naging bad experience, nawalan na daw ng gana si Dale na pumili ng matcha latte. I was thinking about getting a matcha frappuccino in there. I think you... Yeah, I would hate to have a business where just people come and just use it as their personal office. In short, naging tambayan na daw ng mga digital nomads. Now, para sa mga hindi familiar sa ganitong culture, ang digital nomad ay tawag sa isang independent worker na nagpapalipat-lipat ng location. Parang yung expo. Palipat-lipat din ng jowa. <laughs> Kidding aside, ang mga digital nomad only carries laptop at kung saan man may internet para makapagtrabaho lang remotely. Most of them are working as copywriters, editors, graphic designers, social media managers, and even most of them are able to deliver their tasks kahit saan man sila sa Pilipinas. Kaya kadalasan, makikita mo silang nagtatrabaho sa coffee shops, sa mga co-working spaces, sa mga malls, at sa mga public libraries. Pagamat nagsimula ang concept na ito during 90s, mas tinatangkil ito ng mga millennials at mga tulad ko Gen Z. Ah, 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 ah. Na, <laughs> na nakahanap ng work outside traditional work setting. Pero sa pagbabalik sigla ng ekonomiya, pagkatapos ng pandemic, mas kinagat ang konseptong ito ng mga nais mag-work-life balance. Kasi maliban sa time and financial freedom, nakakapag-bakasyon pa sila. By the way, kung sakaling gusto mong isang maging digital nomad din for teaching content creation and we're having a masterclass this December 8 to 10, check mo lang tong site na to for you to get the full details. See you there. Going back, kasi maliban sa time and financial freedom, nakakapag-bakasyon pa sila at the same time. Ang tawag sa ganitong setup, workation. Work and play becomes one. Ngunit dahil sa pag-overstay ng mga digital nomads na ito, ay lalakahanap ng kakampi si Dale. Tulad na lang ng sabi ni Extra Fines. Tama si Dale Philip. Nakakabuisit naman kasi ginawang library. Just be you. Sabi naman ni Mark Lowell. Coffee shop pala to. Kala ko coffee shop. Sabi naman ni Kariza. He has a point based on my experience too. Starbucks SM Fairview. Magkakapi kami with my family. Nakatayo kami for one and a half hour kasi walang maupuan, halos doon na sila tumira. Pero meron din namang nakakaintindi on behalf of the digital nomads. This is not a concept or trend. 
This is a shift in work culture which you have to accept. Businesses should adapt to this to address this demand. At sabi pa ng isa, There's a lack of public and accessible libraries in the Philippines. That's why most students would hang out at coffee shops. Just let us study bro. Pagamat walang pahayag ang Starbucks sa ganitong issue, naglabas naman ng saloobin ng mga tinamaan. Sabi ni Michi Arubao, Well, this is the first time when somebody stood up for these kinds of actions. So, what are the three things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Number one, be mindful to work for a certain time and space appropriately. Don't get me wrong, I understand the coffee shop's perspective. At kailangan nilang mag-establish ng ganitong klaseng environment because this is how they make profit. And clearly, they are targeting digital nomads. Pero kahit na walang inimpose na time to stay, I think we need to be space sensitive and respect na din sa mga negosyo at sa mga taong nag-aantay. Number two, be flexible and adaptable. Kahit sino naman, I believe magiging productive talaga kung nasa space ka that promotes work-life balance. Pero kung nagiging sanhi ka na ng service congestion, learn to navigate elsewhere. And plan ahead para ma-explore din ng ibang tao ang experience mo in that spot. In short, sharing is caring. Number three, everybody has their own culture and different norms. Now, I understand Dave on his frustration. Siguro hindi siya sanay na makakita ng ganong kadaming tao sa isang coffee shop. That ultimately, he was able to point out his observation. But I believe that in respect to the country that you are in, you have to understand their norms. It doesn't necessarily mean na kung ano ang kinasanayan mo, it eh dapat ganun na din sa ibang bansa. Now, there might be a compromise on both sides here. Dale giving us an understanding that that specific thing na nakasanayan natin is something that should be improved. Kasi, on outsider's perspective, it's annoying. On the part naman natin, we have to also have that kind of solitude na hindi necessarily na kapag sinabi ng ibang lahi na mali tayo, eh automatic, mali na tayo. That's what you call colonialism mindset. We have our own individualities that we needed to somehow uphold. Pero, that doesn't mean that we don't listen. It should be a perfect balance between both. Real talk. Now, naiintindihan ko that there are very limited study spaces dito sa Pilipinas. Kung meron man, maybe the place is not conducive. And this is a wake-up call from Dale, who has been in a lot of countries, because he is courageous enough to talk about this. But I would like to also speak up from the digital nomad's perspective. Kasi nga naman, maybe they are working outside, or just to get away from a toxic environment. And this is also every customer's intention, to have a drink just to feel good. Sinabi ni Dale na bakit hindi daw sila mag-work doon sa bahay nila and because it's more conducive in working. Maybe he doesn't understand that not everybody in this country has that privilege to work in a comfortable environment. And the most comfortable environment that these people can work in is maybe the coffee shops. Now, I'm saying this not to romanticize the culture, but this is a good problem for business owners and local government that maybe they can ponder upon para paramihin pa ang co-working spaces sa buong bansa. Kaya na-achieve ng mga coffee shops ang ganitong volume because they offer intimate experiences to promote personal connection over technology. Pero kung nawawala na ito because of promoting laptop camping culture, I'm afraid na baka mawala na rin ang essence nito. The bottom line is, that experience, having a coffee, is meant to be shared with someone. Because in life, it is better to share with kindness and compassion. Like friends passing notes, respect each other's space. Like good neighbors over a fence. At the end of the day, this should be a message to everyone that regardless of how much work we have, we should not forget to see the people in front of you and around us. That most of the time, we're so busy making a living that we forget to have a life. Субтитры